Yeah, it's been show. years since I've seen the show. Oh, well, what the fuck? <laughs> what are we here. doing here? <laughs> oh, he man. was watching Battleship. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Priorities! <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of WTF. I'm Will. I'm Trevor. And our special guest today is... Bradford. How you That's doing? That's right. Welcome, Brad. Welcome to the show. Thank you. We're very, very happy to have you. Very uh, we're happy excited. to be here. Bradford, tell us a little bit about yourself. God. That's hard. <laughs> Bradford was in a little horror movie that we attempted Almost made. to make. <laughs> <laughs> and he was great. He was he great. Was. He, he was, uh, he's a great performer. He's uh, done theater work as well. You also have your, your own little Twitter handle. I do. So if you I guys do. want to check out uh, check out Bradford's Twitter, we will have a <laughs> link at the bottom here. Bring that up on the screen. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Uh, Bradford is. Uh, we're obviously friends on Facebook, uh, and he definitely likes to give his opinion, and he's got a good opinion to give. So if you want to check it out, check it out. As, yeah, and especially today was on the uh, movie we're going to be chatting about, which is El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. Yes. So. Yeah, yeah he, is our, he is our foremost if, expert. If anybody asks me who the biggest fan of Breaking Bad was that I know of, it's this guy. Yeah. This guy, bitch! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, well, let's get her started. Uh, well, why don't you tell us what the story's about, or what the movie's about, rather? I would say it's about Jesse Pinkman trying to find a new life and hopefully stay alive after the Breaking Bad finale. Yeah, that's pretty much... That's, we we that's picked up good. right where we left off yeah. at the end of Breaking Bad on the final season. And he's driving off in a car and it sort of picks El Camino, up... to be more precise. Yeah, that's true. And it kind of picks up right from there. So, Jess, or, pardon me, Aaron Paul stars in this film. Yeah. Um, he is obviously most well-known for Breaking Bad. This it's is Jesse kind of like... Pinkman there. It's like his role of a lifetime and I don't know if... It was his breakup, let's be honest. Well, let's be honest. Has he done anything else that's yeah, even close need to that? Yeah, he didn't need for speed. <laughs> like um, I said, let's be honest. Has he done anything else that's been that, as good? It's funny because <laughs> in this movie, it's almost like this is Aaron Paul's pitch to other directors. It's like, hey, Jesse Pinkman, but also... Aaron Paul, please hire me. Yes. <laughs> and he is one of the producers on this show, so I'm assuming he was one of the big advocates for trying to get this film made. I would oh, assume, right? Oh, probably. Yes. Yeah. I, th I think it was also really... Uh, I think Vince Gilligan really was like, no, that's that's the story, Breaking Bad. This is, I'm almost drifting into my Vince Gilligan impression. Yeah. No, it's done. It's Breaking <laughs> Bad. You know, it, it's finished. It's one story. But then he went later on and he was like, well, there's always this loose thread with... But I bet movie. you there's a ton of fan feedback wondering, like, what happened to Jesse? Where is oh, he yeah. going? What, like, we, oh, need, yeah. we want to see more. We want to see at least a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure there was a lot of influence from fans. To, to help persuade to make for this sure, film. for sure, and and you, like and anyway. probably a little bit of money. The cool thing about this film is we do get to see some of our old friends from yes. Breaking Bad. Matt Jones, who plays Badger, the guy with the crazy voice. Charles Baker, who plays Skinny, Skinny Pete. Pete. Larry Hankin, who plays the old dude who owns the construction site. I thought he was great. Uh, Jess, is it Jesse Plemons? Plemons, yeah. Plemons, who plays Todd. Robert Forrester, who plays Ed. Which, unfortunately, as many of you may know, he recently passed away about a week and a half ago of yeah, brain cancer. Yeah, that's pretty sad. It was very sad. This is uh, his final film. It was really awesome to see him out there actually being able to do it, so that was... Yeah, I, I, and probably people who don't know him probably saw him in uh, Quentin Tarantino's movie Jackie Brown, and no. he was fantastic. No, made for an Oscar. Yeah. Okay, so for me... After watching this film, two, well, three, to be honest, um, Aaron Paul was really good in this film, but the two actors that really stood out for me were Jesse Plemons and uh, Robert Forster. Mm -hmm. Like, after watching the film, like, those two performances, well, those three performances were things that resonated with me. I thought uh, the, the uh, guy who plays Todd, Jesse, he was, he was so disturbingly... I didn't even know how to explain it. Just every scene he was in, you were just like, oh my God, this guy is so warped and twisted. He was just fantastic in the <laughs> He's movie. He's calm and smart psychopath. He's yeah. so, like, it's funny because he's the only one, you kind of get a sense that he's the only one who's really nice to him. He's like, all right, well, we got the whole weekend to ourselves. Yeah. But then he goes, oh, geez, and he just licks his palm or whatever, and he combs him like a like a dog and he goes oh i gotta do a better job keeping you clean from now on but that's what makes this show so good is the fact that they have all of these these great other characters than the main character just like any other shows we talked about that's what makes those types of movies really good 
And obviously this was directed by Vince Gilligan. Remember Gilligan? Gilly, Gilligan? 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 Is it like Gilligan a, like or fish. Gillian? Like Gilligan's Island. That's, yeah, okay. I, that's what I always think of when I say it, but I feel like yeah. I'm saying the words wrong because Will and I always screw up the names of the people. Yeah. That's yeah. okay. Other than Breaking Bad, he was a producer with uh, did some producing with the X-Files. And obviously he... Better Call Saul. Yeah, Better Call Saul, which is another one of Bradford's favorites. Fantastic show. Season one was hard to get through, but season two and on what have been great. It's definitely slow burn, but I think the quality is... For sure, but season one was a little too slow. Yeah. I was like... Yeah, I mean, that's I fair. I forced myself to watch it. Then season two, it actually was really good in season yeah. three and so on. Breaking Bad, let's be honest, is well known for each episode is kind of like a mini movie. Yeah. So to me, this is kind of like, if you like Breaking Bad... You're gonna like this. Breaking this, Brad. Yeah, Breaking Brad. It's a it's a, a spinoff. I'm already broke. <laughs> I mean, it was shot really well, uh, but like I think like you keep saying, it's it's a little bit of a slow burn because it's it's a slow. But when you have these character driven types of film, that's how they kind of play out. Um, I had a little bit of a problem with the ending of the film because I think I think I was just expecting something more grand, more grand to happen. So I, I was not expecting a big ending like you were. Okay, I th I that's all. I think that um, with any, especially with the amount of hype that this movie had and how great Breaking Bad was, how everything was just escalating, escalating, escalating. Mm -hmm. And you go into this movie and you go, oh, it's kind of really kind of small scale and really like intimate. Well, there's that, there's that scene where um, they're burying that body in the desert. And he says, hey, can you get me another pack of cigarettes? I think there's one in the glove box. And he goes over and there's a gun yeah. in the glove box. Right, yeah, that was... And it's thing. like, and and it's like, fuck, what's he going to do? Yeah. Like, is he going to shoot? And it's it's sad because it's like, man, you could have you could have gotten away right there. But yeah. for whatever reason, whether it's... Because well, he's fighting with broad, his morality. Yeah. yeah, and it's like, you know, but it's I, still... I don't think it had to do with morality, to be perfectly honest, in that mm -hmm. scene. I think it had two factors. One... He kills a guy. The entire gang is still alive. So you know oh, yeah. the one family is going to yeah. be totally annihilated. So mm -hmm. either it kills right. him, has to go kill the entire gang. Mm -hmm. Which he's like, that's not really, that's not That's probable. not, Jesse would never. Well, that's it. That's not probable. <laughs> yeah. So he's yeah. like, well, yeah, I can do this now. Which I don't think he would have had an issue with. Mm. But it was the repercussions yeah. post that yeah. he had the issues yeah. with. Well, then he, he also, if he had killed Todd there, he wouldn't have gotten pizza and beer. Well, yeah. <laughs> pepperoni. <laughs> pepperoni. Pepperoni. Well, yeah, pepperoni. Yeah. What did what you really didn't like? What kind of pissed you off? Well, that pissed me off, but I already touched <laughs> on it. I just I did the ending felt a little bit yep. soft. That's mm -hmm. all. Uh, and and it was a little slow at parts. But other than that, I mean, it's still a good watch. For your benefit? Um, I don't think I had much. I think the only thing that kind of bugged me was if you watch like you watch the show and there's a, there's a lot of really good female characters in that show there's you know Skylar and there who are no 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 here we go here we go okay <laughs> this is why this is gonna be because I hated her oh. no. but that's what makes her good Will you love to hate her no that, I want her make sure one okay. off the show okay. off the show <laughs> season why? two gone why because so. why? Cause you hate women <laughs> you ever seen Ozark no. yes okay what Oh, you gotta watch that. Ozark is a fantastic show. Jason, mm -hmm. sorry, Jason Bateman and Laura Linney. Yeah. I believe. All right. Laura Linney's character is what Skylar should have been. Okay, so if you've seen the show, she, Jason Bateman, basically runs money for Mexican mafia. They're drug dealers. She's like, he's making millions. She's like, you know what? I'm just gonna join. Starts helping out and making sure the family's taken care of and not whining and bitching and okay, oh but, my god, okay, you're making okay. so I don't want you to live in the house. Okay, son. okay, but Jesus Christ, woman, he's doing it for you. No, he's, he's doing not. that. No, he is not. But he's he everything doing, it is for his son and no, the family. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, the cancer no and the money. I get no. it, but she could have been supportive and just been like, I want them to be ruthless drug dealer kingpin okay, family. But here's the thing: oh, I is hate her. Walt? I hate her. Walt's a prick. Yeah. All right. There's if if Walt really gave a shit about his family, he would have been like, you know what? Yeah, Gretchen and Elliot, you guys are gonna pay for my cancer treatment. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I'll I'll swallow my pride and I'll be like, okay, I'll work for you and I'll get that health insurance. But he's like, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna cook crystal meth. <laughs> I'm gonna cook crystal meth. But he just made, because I want to. He made way more at cooking crystal meth. <laughs> I mean, sure, but at what cost though? You know. Well, I got rid of his wife, because that's a plus. <laughs> oh, hey, what are you going to do?
guys want to read this film on? Uh, well, I'm thinking vacuums, eh? Vacuums. Yeah? Vacuums well, sounds vacuums? good. Okay, so yes, we're going to rate this on vacuum cleaners. Mm -hmm. Who wants to go first? I'll leave you to last, because, uh, yeah. Sure. Leave you to last. Sure. Trev, you go first. Oh, okay. Uh, I felt, like I said before, I felt like the movie was strong. If you like Breaking Bad, you're really going to like this film. I did enjoy the film. I didn't care for the ending as much as I wanted to, so I'll, I'm going to give it about a seven out of ten. Uh, seven vacuum cleaners out of ten. Um... I actually really enjoyed the ending. It was kind of what I was more or less expecting mm -hmm. or hoping for. I mean, wasn't expecting to become another drug kingpin. So, I don't know, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. It was well done, well filmed. Like I said, camera angles, outstanding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cast. It Shot really, really well. Those two yeah. actors are fucking fantastic. Yeah, and it was really cool to see a lot of the reoccurring cast members, even like in flashbacks. Like, yeah. even got to see Walter White in the flashback. So, yeah. that was really cool. Yeah. Perfect. So, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. Eight vacuums out of 10. Uh, I gotta give it a nine. I think it's a perfect, it's an imperfect movie, but the perfect conclusion to this yeah. series and this, and like this section of the story. I think it's really well done. I just wish it had done it a little bit sooner. So to what, be honest. so yeah, that's totally like, fair. So I know you're a huge fan, Bradford. So mm -hmm. what would have, what would have made it a 10 for you? I, I think if, I think if it had, more roles for women, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and it's 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 not really a a, a problem, but I guess it, it, when you when you have women characters who are very strong and very opinionated, right? Where yeah. th the fact that Skyler uh, invokes so much, like, oh, I hate her, you, you know. <laughs> it's like I think that's a sign of the writing and the the directing and stuff where it's like you can have that opinion yeah, of for her. sure. Yeah, no, and it's, you know, if it, if an actor is that good to make you want to hate them, I think they're doing a great job. Yeah, it's actually funny you mentioned it. There really wasn't many women in the movie, or at all. no, like it's, and, like, when you really think about it, like oh yeah, the yeah. sausage fest of it. But damn good, nine out of ten sausage. <laughs> really good sausage, damn, yeah. really good. And we thank you for watching the episode of WTF, and we will see you next time.